My name is Christos Panagopoulos. It's a typical long Greek name, and I am the ambassador of Greece accredited to the United States since uh, September 2012. Wherever I go, I find a Greek community ready to welcome me and uh, uh, to, uh, they, they express a great interest about how Greece are going in Greece, but also themselves, they carry the Greek traditions, the Greek civilization to this great country. And uh, uh, we have uh, more than 400 major communities all over the United States. Uh, we're talking about millions of people. Now they are the fifth generation since the, f the very first immigrants that came here into this country. They are fully incorporated. Some of them, they make us more proud because they distinguish themselves in politics, in, in the academic world, uh, you name it, in business, of course, so many successful uh, business people are of Greek origin. All of them, they never forget where their forefathers or themselves they came from. Austerity, uh, I mean, I, I'm talking about sacrifices across the board. Uh, I don't think there's even one Greek citizen that doesn't feel all this Armageddon that came up to us the last five years. And uh, suffice to tell you that we have a dramatic reduction, more than 25% of the GDP. And that has uh, a direct repercussion to the incomes of people. Imagine that uh, uh, tomorrow you've been asked to reduce your income by 40%. You know, this is quite dramatic. But the most ugly phase of uh, uh, this economic crisis, which is not only economic, I have to tell you, and it's not only Greek, it's a European, it, uh, it was imported to my country back in 2008 when funds, uh, uh, big banks, they were bankrupt and uh, uh, the supply of money was limited. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, uh, the Greek people, they found themselves in a, a situation that was quite unique, that the country could not finance itself anymore. So that's the way uh, uh, we came to this uh, uh, program with our lenders. You probably heard about the Troika, which is consider, consisted of three parts of our lenders, which means the IMF, the European Central Bank, and the European uh, Commission representing the European Union. Uh, this program is, is requiring a huge sacrifice from the people. I was telling you the most ugly uh, phase of uh, the crisis is the unemployment. Uh, although during the last months we have some signs of stabilizing, even reducing the uh, uh, rate of uh, unemployment, it's unacceptably very high. Suffice to tell you that for the youth it's running more than 55% of the youth uh, in Greece which is making the possibility of a young uh, uh, person who is trying to find employment for the very first time a very difficult uh, 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 process. And for the general public, it's more than 25%, 26% probably. Uh, as I told you, things are uh, being stabilized, but still I mean, you can imagine if you have this rate of unemployment in the United States, what the social, economic, and even political repercussion will come. But the, the Greek people, they accepted this reform program in order to uh, uh, create a new country. And uh, that's what the people can see, that uh, better days are coming, and we have good signs that the economic indicators, they are getting better. Suffice to, to tell you that uh, the markets, which, uh, you know, they have their own uh, uh, pace, very recently, within September, they upgraded Greece's uh, um, uh, credit rate, uh, Standard & Poor's and Fitch, very recently upgraded uh, uh, Greece's uh, financial credit, which is a very positive thing. But this is not, not the only positive thing. We have so many um, very important indicators, like a primary surplus, which means that uh, we learn to live with what we earn, something that very few countries they can uh, claim today all over the world. And uh, of course, the um, 
participation of uh, the public, uh, uh, let's say the employers of the public sector, they have been reduced dramatically, something which was very painful but very necessary in order to liberate forces for the real economy to work. Uh, we believe that uh, when uh, fresh money they're going to come, the economy is going to start picking up quickly. And I have to mention here that tourism, which is one of the two big pillars of the Greek economy, had an extremely good season, which is ending right now. We had a record-breaking number of tourists visiting my country, close to 20 million people. We are a nation of 11 million, so you can imagine this is very much needed help from our friends who are visiting and uh, opting to go to Greece to pass their vacation. They are welcomed. I, I should uh, say that uh, the relationship between the uh, two countries is not limited to the current crisis, of course. Uh, we have been blessed to be together, I mean, uh, more or less the two countries that became in the modern history uh, independent countries quite at the same more or less time with a difference of a few decades. Since then they are always together, fighting for the common causes, for democracy, human rights, human dignity. Our relationship is based on solid principles and values which we both share. On the other hand, our Greek American, the vibrant Greek American community here, uh, which is uh, a few million people uh, uh, large, is, uh, I, I, I like to say, and I told uh, President Obama, that this is like a, a living bridge between the two countries, every day creating new contacts, and uh, uh, we enjoy to have the Greek American community here as our best uh, contact point. When it comes to the economic crisis, from the very beginning, the United States administration was squarely behind Greece. Uh, from President Obama to the Treasury Secretary, the Secretary of State, uh, all our interlocutors, they are uh, uh, with us. They extend their support when they can. And uh, we really appreciate very much their support. Now, when it comes to investments, I have to tell you that, uh, let's say, the political excellent relationship we enjoy and the defense relationship isn't, uh, I mean, uh, the economy is not matching this excellent relations we have. We are looking for ways to, uh, to improve this. And as a matter of fact, uh, at the suggestion both of uh, President Obama and Vice President Biden, uh, almost a year ago, the Secretary of Commerce, Ms. Pritzker, took the trip to Athens to explore possibilities to uh, upgrade the economic relations between Greece and the United States. That's what we are doing as an embassy and as a country. The Prime Minister is committed to that. Uh, uh, key members of our cabinet are working on this, and of course, this is one of my uh, uh, main tasks here in the United States. The other pillar is Merchant Marine, we are probably uh, number one in the world. You know that uh, uh, um, the Greek ship owners uh, having their ships under Greek flag or on another a nation's flag, uh, they are the number one uh, force in uh, Merchant Marine all over the world. And this is a kind of pride for Greece and of course big opportunities and a big player in the international trade uh, community that uh, Greece is right there, uh, despite the economic crisis, as a great ally of the United States, a credible ally, a provider of security. Uh, recently, we made big steps when it comes to energy, and we're working uh, with our allies to provide uh, what we call energy security to Central European countries. Uh, we have great plans, but always as uh, uh, an ally of the United States, trying to bring peace and prosperity in this turbulent part of the world. You can rely on us, you know that, um, and uh, don't forget that uh, more than uh, close to 200 years, the two countries, they never oppose each other. They've been there together, been in the two world wars, every major conflict were there along with the United States.